Hey guys, MTG Noob here, bringing you a standard match with um, Wild Defiance Poison. It's a um, pretty good deck. Basically, wins off the back of Blighted Agent and Pump Spells and Wild Defiance. So, that's what we're going to do. We might be playing against Delver, or maybe Blue-White Control. Play the Nexus first, so if we need to, it could start getting the beats in or on. Um, he ponders, so I was going to say if he held up mana, I'd probably have to respect a potential... Let's say, you know, counterspell. Counterspell, how you call it? Okay, so looks like he's on Delver or potentially blue white control. But I don't think blue white control would play both uh, probe and ponder. Ooh, he's on, I guess, Esper Spirits? Look at me, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just making things up. Alright, we'd love to hit a green source here. Or a fifth island is always nice. Alright, we'll uh, bash in here. We have this in case he wants to vapor snag. Or try to kill one of our guys. It's possible that he's going to vapor snag this. Okay. That's fine. Uh, if we give this pearl white, we get in. If not, we lose a land. He's got to deal with this. I'd rather let my ink moth die. And then try to keep this guy alive from removal. Okay, so he kind of ambushed us a little there. Kind of got our land as well. So that, uh, it's a bit unfortunate. But I, I would say once we draw a green source, we'll be uh, looking pretty good. Okay, let's choose to probe him. If he mana leaks this, it's fine. Okay, so snag, image, land, uh, catacombs and island so he's flooding out himself let's draw a green source or that okay we'll play out another island apparently we're mono blue poison which isn't really a deck I assume he's gonna take the one then maybe end step try to bounce this okay guess not maybe he's gonna just bounce it whenever um, I try to go all in on it. Okay, so he played the catacomb. Me love catacombs. Ho ho ho. Okay, so he's got one card we don't know about. <sighs> there it is. There's that classic wild defiance that the deck likes to be named after. Yeah, I think I think I gotta try to save this here. No, I'll give it pro blue. Okay, I think that might also mean he drew a mana leak. Because he's bouncing it now during attacks. He's not really high enough poison-wise. Where, like, he would bounce it during combat and I would try to replay it. And then he would leak it. Okay, Virtue. It's actually a real deal. That's kind of bad for us especially since he's going hard now I can kill this if I really wanted to his clock is way faster but he's got one card and we believe it is an island so if we draw a forest we're good we're a mutagenic growth um hmm hmm <laughs> hmm only problem with mutagenic growth is 
cost us two life to cast. So we'll go to ten. We're on a three turn clock. He's on a four turn clock. I really need a green source. Once we get a green source, we win. So... Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to use this mutagenic growth just yet. He'll be at four. We'll pass. And then we'll take three. And what will happen is that... We're hoping to draw a green source and then just go all in. Now, one play we could do is kill this spirit, but with one of our spells. But we wouldn't want to do that because he also has Moreland Hunt, which would actually turn it into a 2-2 flyer. Oh, right, that's a green source. Yeah, look at us now. Uh-oh. Now we're going to just win. Well, Defiance... We pay two, cast this, okay, becomes big, like a 6-6, six, six. and then we bash, and that's going to be the game, because we know you have an island in hand, we know it, 100% sure, okay, so that was <laughs> the first game, can't say it was a very sexy game, but our perseverance and trying to play for the green source is very sexy all right so <clears throat> i think we might actually want to speed up our clock a little bit in this matchup i think gut shots good against delver don't get me wrong but i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna bring in these glistening elves he has intangible virtue so i can potentially get rid of it with naturalize but I don't think it's uh, worth it. Um, I think we could cut the lash. Seems a little slow. And I think we could probably cut a spell skite or two. I mean, I'm tempted to cut all the spell skites and just leave the gut shots in. The grow the blessings are pretty good. I think we'll try this first see what happens because spell skites um they absorb vapor snags like a boss all right i'm gonna keep this okay he plays the tap land which is awesome for us forest all right nice very sexy man so uh my voice sounds like a hermaphrodite because I was at a wedding last night and at that wedding I was going crazy screaming I was in the wedding and um, it was fun because you know the maid of honor was like Bulgarian so she sounded like Borat during her speech it was it was quite awesome I definitely recommend all right uh, I think you might have a mana leak here but I kind of don't care about Getting my spell skite leaked. It does protect the elf now to an extent. Which is nice. Unless he has a go for the throat, which I can't really do anything about that. Oh no, he's seeing all my ranger's guiles. Oh, now I'm going to move my cards around to confuse him. Oh, what did I do now? Oh, that's what I did. Okay, so he can play accordingly now. got to be careful because a snapcaster kills this guy. Alright, revoke it is. So that might mean he's got snag. This is a good card. I'd rather our spell skite get revoked than our um, wild defiance. Come on, let's draw something awesome. Alright, he knows about this, so I'm just going to play that out. And we'll pass here. Can F6 just in case he, on the off chance he has gut shot. This poor little guy. He's so glistening. He's so shiny. What a shiny little elf. I would not mess with this elf. Alright, um. 
We can't really guile. I think we'll try to give it pro blue. See if that resolves. I mean, he's just trying not to take poison damage, which is understandable. I want this guy in play. I don't want this guy getting leaked. Okay. I'll just spend a guile now. So that the snag doesn't resolve. That's fine. You can crack your wilds. Okay. Cancel, hexproof, etc. I think moth is good. Bash in with this. Um, I don't really see a reason to spend a ranger's guile just yet. We have to be careful that he has midnight haunting. That's a real card against us. Okay, ponder. I can't do anything about that. See what he does. Okay, chose not to shuffle, which means potential blowout for us. Um, yeah, I think we'll go in with the Nexus as well. I mean, this this might cost us both of our rangers guiles here he flashes in a midnight haunting okay so i guess that was essentially a vapor snag or a snapcaster vapor snag snapcaster vapor snag doesn't work oh what is that this member i have to guile that Okay. Maybe. I mean. He knows I have the guile, so. Can't really do much about anything else. If he's got another removal spell, I'll just guile it again. Snapcaster. That's fine. I mean, his life total doesn't matter, so he's going to get to trade here, which is fine. He makes a dismember. I would assume he's going to dismember this one. We're going to let him block. Okay, that's fine. And then end step, I'll just... Guile that. Can't do it in response because then he just kills it. So we'll see what he wants to do. Okay, I didn't even use it, which is fine. A little unfortunate now because he's got Ponder and he's got a creature in the yard. So even if the creature in the yard makes a 1 1, it definitely blocks the crap out of this. So plays land. Chose not to shuffle. I don't know. Okay, we have a Blighted Agent. There's no cards in hand. Do I really want to waste a removal spell? Let's see. Yeah, you know what? We're going to... I don't I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think it's worth it. I'd rather protect my Blighted Agent, I think. Here comes the Spirit. It's fine. Okay. Snappy goes away. Because we're not under any immediate pressure ourselves. He's just pondering. I mean, don't get me wrong, ponder is very good. Uh, he shuffled. Draws one card. I doubt he's swinging. If he swings, that definitely raises a red flag for me. Okay, bladed agent goes in. He's so agenty and blady. Even glistening elf, man, they like to hang out. 
not going to use the Nexus for blockers, so I'll use it for mana. And we uh, are trying to speed up this clock before he draws anything fantastic. He's just flooding out like crazy. Too many ponders not really getting there. Okay. Um, I think it's fair to try this pre-combat. This way, if he does have removal spells or something of that nature, we just redirect them to the spell sky. Okay, so he's at six poison counters, and we have a ranger's guile. We're not going to go in with the nexus just yet. Because it doesn't really matter. We're at high enough life where I think we're safe. To just play our game of attacking for two. Okay. I'm not going to play out this other blighted agent. Because... For whatever reason, if he casts Day of Judgment, and then he can make a spirit um, off of this Delver that goes in the yard, it could still be blocked. So I'll have a backup agent, especially since he's essentially dead next turn without me doing anything. Okay, so see if Delver flips. Delver does flip for a probe. Okay, cast the probe, sees my two cards, Ranger's Guile and Blighted Agent, plays another Moorland Hunt, I don't think we're in any jeopardy, and he shoots us the good game, so thank you opponent for being cordial, um, as always, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and definitely check out the other videos.